Hello everyone, time for more upgrades on Warren. And a few days ago, I got this fellow right here and I'm quite impressed with some of the features it has. I don't know why for a long time I didn't have a purge line marker on my printer, so that's what I'm gonna add. I also wanna add a little roller to swipe. So I will use original bamboo roller that came with the printer. There's like two of them came in a package for the bamboo. So I'm preheating the printer right now. I'm going to use the same uh, Sparkle ABS that I have here in the team of this printer. I will install lights on this printer. And I also want to install Nevermore. So here's all the parts that, have to, that came with the bamboo. And those rollers I was talking about Looks like this is a PTFE tube or something like that. Just put in a plastic piece. So I'm printing part of ABS that will be on the place of the Z switch that used to be on my Warren Trident. And we're going to remove it and I will place it over there. Now you can see on the left side, I have added the purge line. This thing is saving a lot of time without like, you don't have to jump around and pick up the drops, it just goes there. So I have printed the piece and assembled it. There's a heat insert underneath and you just screw in M3 nut and this original bamboo wiper. So far it looks clean. We installed an extrusion nearby the bed and add the muckers. I also have printed some of the parts for Nevermore Duo 05, I think. Quality is very nice considering that I use high flow and a high speed. It's not like perfect. There's some tuning in terms of temperature. But overall, again, considering the speed, it's printed pretty well. So I'm going to assemble it with magnets now, put the fans on, fill out with carbon and we'll be ready to use it inside because I really want to get rid of the filters I used inside of the printer. Cartridges are smaller and not as efficient and um, also I don't have extra cartridges at this point. Here I have dual cream the wire, they are in the parallel. I had one uh, fan that I used for my stove burner without ears, so I took the top from here and placed it on top. Now it's, they both mount it well. Holding here with the screws. The filter is also here. I glued the magnets, holding perfectly well. I have assembled an Evermore filter connected to my power supply. We're going to turn it on. Works perfectly fine. I'm going to add voltage. They are connected in parallel right now. Everything works. And magnetize. Perfect activated carbon I'm using this guy right here this is not creating oxidation on any of your metal parts inside of the printer some activated carbon out there actually can cause this issue and now I'm gonna close it shake it a few times to make sure small particles are not gonna be in a place I have configured um, heater fan that way like if I'm printing ABS on 110 degrees it will automatically kick in without me doing anything and that's pretty much it for the filter I've decided to add uh, also an LED in my Warren Trident now it's working in the printing some brackets for the LEDs here are the strips 16 millimeters between the center of the LED there's the model I got those of AliExpress, they're significantly cheaper out there than uh, on Amazon. And I'm going to use silicon wire like this, the black one. And I'll hide it inside of the extrusion, so it's not going to be visible when I mount it. Uh, let's get back when everything will be ready. Here I have finished printing all the ABS pieces and I also soldered LEDs. I have put one chain together and the second one is coming along. Other than that, we'll come back when I will crimp the wires and show the result. So this is how everything looks before and after. 
That's a, such a huge difference. We have light out there. I have never more. And I added the purge line. And don't forget about the swiper. I think overall swiper is not the best option compared to brush. But I don't want to wear off my CHT nozzle. It's quite expensive. And aside the purge line, it's actually doing a pretty good job. You can see out there small pieces of filament all over the place. There's a little issue with LED lights. Those only work and controllable when printer is not printing. But I have them always on, don't really care about it. I will leave a link in the description to the topic where problem is described. Nevermore is working perfectly fine. And thank you very much for watching this video. Let the force be with you. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.